The two-story Germus church in the eastern province of Anlerfa has survived for centuries. Now, it will become a tourist attraction within the scope of the Southeastern Anatolia Project, GAP, Action Plan. The church is located in the Daetii neighborhood on the outskirts of the Germus Mountains, 10 kilometers away from the city center. But since it does not have an inscription, the exact date of its establishment is unknown. Estimated to have been built with cut stones in the beginning of the 19th century, the church has three lancet windows at the entrance. The historic church, which has partly lost some of its features during previous restorations done, is located close to Gobekli Tepe, one of the world's oldest temples located in the city. Onlurf Regional Tourist Guides Chamber Chairman Kamal Turkmen said that the city had recently gained momentum in tourism. He said that foreign tourists came to the region especially for Gobekli Tepe and also visited the Germus Church. Turkmen said that Armenians lived in the Germus village during the Ottoman era and that the area was a protected site. The church draws attention mostly from foreign tourists. They come here but the church is not completely ready. This is why it should be restored as soon as possible, he said. Gap restoration completed. Culture and Tourism Deputy Director Aidan Arslan said that work had been initiated for the church to promote its tourism, adding, the surveying, restitution, and restoration projects have been finished. The restoration project was included in the Gap Action Plan and will start in the coming days. We will also carry out archaeological work in the area. The former village head of the neighborhood, 85-year-old Mansuras Demir, said that they had been trying to protect the church and structures in the vicinity but treasure hunters had done excavations and damaged the church. He said some Armenian families used to live in the region in the past, and later moved to their relatives in Syria. As Demir said that his father told about the stories from the World War I and explained. In the final years of the Ottoman state, young people from neighboring villages joined the war and only old people and women remained in the houses. Since the Armenians did not join the war, they continued living here. But the French and Russians took advantage of this and made them massacre people in the neighboring villages. When they heard our soldiers were returning, they left their houses and escaped the village.